In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build your website using high level with AI. Hello, I'm Bob Reincleef, founder and CEO of Cyber Innovation. 26 years ago, I started a web hosting and email services company, and we've evolved into a full service digital marketing company. And today I'm teaching others how to do their own marketing. I'll teach you how to build your CRM, how to build your website, email marketing, and, and so many other tools. Today, we're going to focus on how to build your website or maybe rebuild your website. And of course, we're going to use AI to help you with the text and the images. Stay tuned. All right, so we're at high level. Follow the link in the description below to get your 30 day trial of high level, and you'll be able to follow along and build your site. You'll see ours is branded as Cyber CRM. That's our company's high level, white labeled. So there's an option to white label high level, put your own brand, put your own name on it, and reach out to me. We can talk more about building your own agency. But to get started, you'll just want to get a 30 day trial and get started building. When you log into the dashboard, you'll see there's so many things that's in other videos. Today, we're going to focus on going down to sites. When you click on sites, you're going to see two of the first options are funnels and website. Today, I'm going to talk about a website, but I'll briefly talk about funnels. Funnels are, for lack of a better term, a one page website. It's like a funnel. You're focusing on one product, one service, one offer, and the information is trying to funnel them down into making a purchase, booking an appointment, downloading a free guide. And then the funnel can have upsells. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That can take them into other areas. So that's really what a sales funnel is. We have full features for building funnels. And here in a moment, I'll show you, like even under funnels, we can start from templates. So we have plenty of funnel templates out there to start with. We also have doors. We won't go into detail today, but if you want to build an online store and, and sell products, you can do that with our online stores. We have calendars. So if you're going to book appointments online and sell your appointments, sell your time, we'll be able to do that through calendars. But today we're going to focus on the heartbeat of the website. So the first thing you can do is click new website and start from template. I recommend this often because you may be new to building websites. You may need some inspirational help or ideas. Any of these templates can be reformatted with your information using AI as well as your own content. So let's take uh, health and wellness here. You just pick a category. And here is an example of the X gym. So say you're a gym owner and you want to build a gym site. We already have the template that you can get started with. Not happy with that one. Click back. And maybe it's yoga. Maybe you want to build a yoga site so this is yoga meta find your balance and maybe you pick this one has pricing in here already where you can book on a calendar go back give you another example there are hundreds of choices maybe we're going to go to automotive maybe you're selling cleaning car dealers some sort of auto dealership window tinting and you can find the design that fits you best Let's say we take this one. We have a book appointment, we'll save 25% and we've got some content. Simply click continue and it's going to add the template to your site. Once the template's added, we're automatically redirected to the website builder. And again, 25 years ago, we were hand coding HTML. Later, we started using front page and other web design tools. Later became very fluent and built thousands of WordPress sites. We are a Wix agency partner, and so many web builders now can build websites better than we ever could 25 years ago, and this is one of them. So every website is built first out of sections. So this top left button here, I like to always show, that's the layers. And if you expand, we have our first section, and you see highlighted this top nav area. And in that nav area, we have two column row and in the first column is this information. And the second column is the button. So here's the nav menu, and then here's the button. So these things are already in place. If you ever need to look around, but 
Sections are like this hero banner will be the next section. Sections are the major components below the nav bar that make up your website. Each section generally has a different background. It helps set off the different sections as you move through the website. You can edit the sections, add sections. Right up here, all you do is click add elements. And we could start with sections. If you need to add another full width, wide, small, or medium section, then you can add in the rows. So you build it in your mind. I'm going to add a section. I'm going to add in two columns, and then I'm going to add these elements into those column. You can save global sections. Like our navigation bar at the top is global. Our footer at the bottom is global. So there are section templates that you can use. And if you want to add a store, we won't go into it in this video, but you could add an online store. It will create the pages and the checkout cart and all the things needed to have an online store. Here are different buttons, social media icons. These are ways to dress up your images if you want to make them round or have frames or background borders. And if you want to add any kind of a progress bar, that's just a quick overview of what's there in sections and then what's there to add. The next item over goes into the pages. Add as many pages. These were pre-built pages that came with the site. Tracking code gets into Google Analytics or any other type of header or footer code that you need to put in that will come later. Custom CSS. For those more advanced and want to do custom CSS, you have the ability to add that. Here, typography. We can change the typography for the entire site. The headline font. Instead of being Roboto, we can use, let's say, we want to go here and see, it just changed that quick. It's a little too tight for me, so I might go to Red Hat, there we go. And then instead of pop-ins, maybe we'll go with Lotto. So you can change the default text color and the default link color that will update the entire site. Background, I don't commonly use this because if you set a background color for the entire site, now everything that doesn't have a background has a color. We prefer to generally just leave that at white and then we'll be set. Most commonly when background images are used, I see people starting with a blank template. Maybe they'll put in a nav bar at the top. They'll place an image in the background and then they'll come over here and under sections, instead of doing full width, they'll pick a wide or a medium. That way the image will still show in the background and they can fill in with sections, rows and elements after that. But again, for today's example, we're not going to change the background and mess with that. Pop-up settings. Here's a pop-up that you can save 25% off. Your window tinting, you would add a form into this pop-up. So we'll be able to, it says you don't have any forms yet. We could go over here and you can just type up in the elements form. We're going to add a form and then we're going to select the form. Just try to find something, subscriber form. There we go. So now. We've got a form in there. We'll get rid of this other box. And now we have a form uh, available in the pop-up. So let me save that. Next is the SEO metadata where you can set the homepage title, the description. We can set keywords, authors, social image, everything on every page. You can get just as good of SEO with website builders when you add the proper content than others. Some websites will auto place your content into the title and the description. Ours will too, but it's important to go in and make sure that your title is consistent and brief as well as your description. You can preview custom code if you're ever getting into custom coding. You can add a cookie consent banner at the bottom, especially if you're outside of the US uh, where it's required in the European Union. Those are just a few of the items at the top here. You can view the site in mobile. And then you can also view the site desktop and again, quickly change between different pages from the top bar. So getting back to the site, now when we click on a section, you'll see this nav bar open up on the right. And if we want to set padding or margin, if we want to set stickiness, background, here's a button. Here we can go through the button and set up spacing, font size, it says book appointment. You may want to change it to a download free guide. So maybe you want to do that and make it download the free guide. Then down here at the bottom, the action right now we have it on a go to page. It goes to the book 
now page. So let me put that back. So we have now you can add subtext, uh, don't delay that's in the wrong color. So I'm going to come back here under color, sub color text is white. And we'll use that same, oh, let's just go with black. So we have that color below. If you need to change sizes and etc. cetera, sub family text, if you don't want it to be that high, we could bring it down a little bit there. So book now, don't delay. So if you want to add that second line, you can always add that the menu is managed here through the navigation menu. So home page is edited. It's going to say go to page and you're say home. If you want it to open in a new tab, you can. What's nice about this is if you change the name of a page or something moves around, it's going to automatically know to go to that page. The other option, like I'll show you here, if we click edit, it says go to a URL. So this is going to a URL, not to a page. If your URL ever changes, then you're going to break the navigation. Again, this was saved under the global sections. So anytime you change it on this page, it's going to change it on all the other pages. You can change the font size, the weight. I don't want to change a lot because I've already used the theme. I want to come in and update it with my content. So here's a first example. We'll take this paragraph right here. Auto tinting window business is dedicated. This is where we can use AI. So clicking right here under AI, we can click generate, improve writing, fix spelling and grammar, simplify. We can make it longer, make it shorter. So let's just make it longer. So it's going to take that content, go out to AI. So it says at our seamed auto tinting, today, we provide ourselves a trading top. So this can make it longer, make it shorter. You can add it below. You can replace the text. Every section has that ability. If you don't like the title, for instance, you can always highlight this. We'll click AI. We'll click make it shorter. Like maybe that title's too long. And then we can replace the text. So if you have content from an existing website that you're bringing over, you can paste it in each section and then have AI help you rewrite it, changing the titles, changing the buttons, as well as adding in your images. We can also generate images using AI. So you can highlight this image and come over here and click on the image. And right here, we've got create using AI. We can put in here uh, a young man in a window tinting with hair dryer and a window. And I want to have a few variations and I want this to be photorealistic. So I'm going to ask it to generate at the making of this video, AI image generation is becoming pretty good. Not perfect. It's going to continue to get better and better all the time, but here's a few. Here's that one, that one. So this one I would probably pick because it looks more like a window and this is pretty good, but it's hard to make out what he's doing exactly. And this almost looks like someone touching a piece of art, but I love the tattoos in the arm, the watches off a little bit. So if I just click continue after a couple moments, go into content AI folder and here is our image. Now that image has square edges. So we can go up here to advanced and we'd like to add a box shadow. Maybe we want to make this with rounded corners. We can add the box shadow. So now we've got rounded corners with some box shadow with that image. So you can update your images, update your pages. Here we're going to add in, we've got customer testimonials. So you can add in and edit each of these testimonials. Your frequently asked questions. Your frequently asked questions can be rewritten by AI to shorten and make them more concise and to the point. You notice down here in the footer, we have what's called short codes, the curly brackets next to the email next to the phone, next to the location. Those are part of the high level CRM. Those are under your profile. When you set up your business profile, that's where you're going to have your location, email, phone. So that way, if you ever change those items, it's automatically going to update them. For social media icons, this is part of the footer. So it's going to be global. You can go in here and uh, click edit to edit your Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, so you can add or remove other socials if there's social media icons you need to add for other brands. So in summary, picking a template is a great way to start. 
then you open the editor and click like I'm clicking far here to the left and I'm in the nav bar it says main nav right here on the right so always look on the right side here here's the name of it you can change that element name if you like here's the padding if you want to increase or change if you want to make that header bar stickiness so we'll stick it to the top which I'll we'll have to say that this is asking about a global section change if you want the global section to be updated and we do preview now as we scroll up you'll see the navigation bar is sticky it scrolls at the top or stays with the site on the top the button had some animation if you notice there we can change animations in the button there is an advanced section if you can't find it on the general tab but this is 90 percent of the time 99 percent of the time your spacing your font size colors padding everything's going to be here and then your actions of where you're going to go here is a hero banner or what would be known as a section this has an image in the background so again we can click and change that image let's say uh, we want this so there is a sunset or the ocean of a sunset so you can change those backgrounds here's another section where we can change the background color make it white dark again save your site here publish is how you publish it to the web right now we're using a demo domain and this would be your preview domain that you could show your client or look at yourself we'll talk about connecting a domain here in a moment here are versions you want to go back to a version that you were working on previously you could do that so for instance if i click versions go back to version one and i want to restore that version i can put everything back to the way it was when we got started let's just show or hide settings again viewing in mobile to connect a domain you can click here and it will let you select it i don't have one so you can click add or edit domains and it's going to take you to our settings and domains so in the lower left you go to settings and choose domains here we're going to click add a domain and give it just the domain nothing else so this would be like mydomain.com and you always want to add the www and when you click continue our system will automatically go out and if you're with one of the top domain providers it will prompt you to log in and make a connection and it will add all the records for you automatically it is very easy and quick to add your domain once the domain's added it may take a few hours up to 24 hours for the domain to be working 100 percent perfectly around the world but you'll likely see the domain working within a few minutes if not a few hours if you need to you can add the record manually so this will tell you to go create an a record the host is the at sign here's the value you can copy the c name the www you put those in and you can go manually add those to whoever your dns provider is and that will do the same once the domain is in place again we'll give it a little time and that will sync to your website thank you for taking time to watch this tutorial if you're building a website for the first time this tutorial will help you get started if you need help reach out join our free marketing community the link is in the description below if you're already an established business, maybe you don't have time to build your own website or you have an existing website and you need our team to transfer it over again, follow the link in the description below. Join our free AI marketing community, connect with our small but growing uh, membership base, and we will connect with you and have links on how to upgrade your website. You can also learn more at cybercrm.ai and book a short meeting if we need to talk. Take care and make it a great day.